we're learning that Chuck Wendig's uh, Shadow of the Empire comic series a shadow of vader comic. shadow of vader i'm sorry uh it was is a five-part miniseries it's been completely scrapped and Wendig was fired uh within the last month five uh, weeks or so october sometime. right okay so yeah it was a lot more recent than that okay cool so um basically it was cited because of his behavior on social media mm-hmm. um you call it whatever you want to but but i guess disney or i guess marvel in this situation is saying it was inappropriate uh fan reaction great writer but kind of a big mouth yeah, I would put that because he gave yeah. us the Aftermath novel series, which uh-huh. was superb. I've heard he's a jerk. I've well, never met him. I've never met him either. I, I think he's a nice guy. He just has an opinion, but he's a writer. He's supposed to have an opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, what's interesting about this, though, is that the first three issues were already written in this miniseries. They scrapped the whole thing. So my question is, why would you... Like, I get it. Like, he did the work for the first three. I'm sure you had outlines for the last two. Why not bring somebody in and just finish it off, Jesse? Okay, so... Kind of a book is obviously a whole different ball game than a comic book. Yeah, this but is twenty two. I'm going to use this as kind of an example, but uh, Frank Herbert's Dune, okay, which was a fantastic sci fi book if you haven't read it. Um, but the thing is, is after F- Frank passed away, his children continued tried to continue the story. Mm-hmm. They were the authors, and they were basically basing it off of notes that he had left behind. Okay. And it wasn't as good. You could definitely tell the difference when when somebody else steps on, you know, and, and, and takes control. Same thing with actually the, the Hobbit movies. I'm a very avid Lord of the Rings uh, mm-hmm. fan. You can tell when Peter Jackson stepped on, you know, for that trilogy in the, in the very first Hobbit movie. You can tell the difference mm-hmm. in the direction, you know, of, as, as things changed. David, you know, when we think about the fact that this series gets canceled, and again, restating, because I think it's important to mention, the first three of the five were already done. Well, to my understanding with this comic, David, was that each comic, each issue of the comic was going to follow Vader, but in a different era with a different group of people. Yep. So they weren't necessarily going to be sequential. So I wonder if it's more about royalties and when to getting money from something he's already completed um, as opposed to, you know, a, a storyline issue. But with how successful this recent Vader series has been, and let's not forget the go and run 2015 Vader was very successful. Vader is maybe the most attractive character right now in Star Wars and maybe has always been, but you make money. I mean, those comics would fly off the mm-hmm. shelves. So to me, it's like Marvel must really not be happy with Wendig to forfeit the money that they've already invested in creating the comics that are already on the shelf mm-hmm. and then not willing to go through and get the sales from it. Because I I was set up to buy these already with the, with, the, with the fantasy shopping down in St. Louis. Like we were ready to go and then the news came that it got dropped. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll never know. I guess it's kind of the whole point of the story. Are you bummed out? I mean, we are getting star- Vader stories elsewhere. Mm-hmm. It just makes me wonder where the next Vader story will come from. Mm-hmm. I know that they're doing um, IDW Comics was doing a, a short run mm-hmm. of, of Vader stories, Tales of Vader or something, uh, that I know that uh, the kids have been enjoying for quite some bit. So let us know what you think down in the comments below. Yeah.